today I'm gonna show you what to do with all that extra zucchini. Most of us preppers have a garden because that's one of the main things that makes us preppers. And if you're growing zucchini, you know by the end of the year you're almost trying to give away this stuff. You can't get rid of it. You're always ending up with more than you can use. Well, this recipe is going to help you solve that problem because you're going to want to make your zucchini into this. Now, unlike a lot of the recipes I share with you, this one has a ton of ingredients. But the good news is these are ingredients that everybody has around the house. And the other great side to this is that these ingredients are easily substituted or used with other items. And I'm going to try to point that out as I go down the ingredients list here. Okay, the most important and first ingredient are the zucchinis. That's the whole basis for this recipe. So you're going to need six medium zucchini, or two really big ones, one tablespoon of olive oil, one small chopped onion, about a cup, two tablespoons of chopped garlic, a pound of ground beef was what we're going to use, but you can get away with just using a half a pound of ground beef. The whole idea of this uh, recipe is to kind of stretch the budget a little bit, so a half a pound of ground beef will do fine. 2 teaspoons of cumin, 2 teaspoons of ground coriander, a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes, or really to your taste, one 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes, and a small can of tomato sauce. We're using 3 tablespoons of dried raisins, and that really works good. It tastes great, but the original recipe uh, calls for currants. We do not have currants in the house, so we substitute uh, raisins for them. Three tablespoons of pine nuts, and we're going to actually roast them a little bit later on. That is one of the ingredients I would not leave out. It's a key ingredient. It really adds that mystery flavor or that knock it out of the park flavor to the whole dish. The original recipe calls for a quarter cup of chopped parsley leaves, but the parsley is already done in our garden. We don't have any in the refrigerator, so we're going to use dried parsley flakes accordingly. Uh, to substitute for that, you're also going to need a half a teaspoon of salt and some feta cheese. And lastly, to stretch that meat, the recipe calls for a grain, bulgar. Now, we don't have any bulgar in the house, so we just cooked up some rice. You're going to need a, a cup or two of bulgar or rice, and again, that just helps stretch out that mixture. And that rounds out all the ingredients for this recipe. To prepare the zucchini, just slice them in half and then scrape out the seed section. Do all your zucchini like that because that's where the uh, stuffing mix is going to sit. Now for us, it's a no-lose situation because we'll take that, that seed mixture that we scraped out of the zucchini and feed it to our chickens and tomorrow we'll have an egg for that. Okay, heat that oil up, medium to high heat, and then saute your garlic and onion just so it's translucent. When the onion and garlic are done, then start to cook your beef. After your meat is cooked through, add your cumin. We're going to add a little more since we used a pound of meat. Then add your coriander, your ground coriander. I'll tell you, just the smells of this are incredible already. I love the smell of cumin. Of course, I love the smell of onion and garlic. And put your red pepper in. And mix your rice and so again we're substituting rice for bulgar what the original recipe calls for because that's what we have around the house this recipe is very adaptable feel free to move around a little bit with it you're trying to uh, stretch your meat out with this recipe basically We're draining off the liquid in the uh, diced tomatoes, and we're going to save that liquid for later. Then add your drained tomatoes to the mixture. Add your raisins. Mix those in. While the mixture is kind of cooking and melting the flavors together, that would be a good time to kind of toast these pine nuts. Put them in a bowl and off to the side, and when we're ready to bake, we're going to add those to the mixture. Mix your tomato sauce with the liquid you drained out of the uh, diced tomatoes. 
put your salt into the sauce. Now I'm going to stop here before we go any further and say that you could make a larger batch of this and freeze it ahead of time for meals. At this point you could just take the mixture and portion it out into what you need for meals. Okay before you're ready to start cooking, right before you're ready to start cooking, add your pine nuts and mix them in. After mixing the pine nuts you can start filling zucchini. Put your hollowed out zucchini in a uh, baking dish. Fill them up. I made this mixture up ahead of time so it's already cooled off enough to handle, which makes it pretty easy. And take your sauce and drizzle it over the top. And top that with your feta cheese. Feta is the best, but if you don't have feta, goat cheese goes well with this. One last thing, you're going to be tempted to use this stuffing with peppers. I know you're going to be tempted because I was and I fell for it. Don't do it. I know it sounds good, it seems like it would be good, at least it did to me. It does not translate well to peppers. Alright, we're almost there. We're going to cover this up with foil. We've preheated our oven for 375. I'm going to put it in for the first 20 minutes. It takes about 45 minutes, maybe an hour to cook this at the most. After 20, 25 minutes, take the foil off and let it continue to cook for 20, 25 minutes. Just keep more. an eye on it for that last 20 minutes, but it'll be done when the zucchini is soft. You should easily be able to slice through it. That's great with a side of bread. Father, thank you for this food and please put it to good use through us. Guide us and protect us. Amen. Now, you know, the ultimate test is always the kid test. What do you think of the uh, zucchini? Awesome. It's good. It's good, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. That is a good way to eat zucchini. To eat zucchini. Good stuff. Wow. That is good, good. Nobody's talking. It must be good. Okay, and the only thing that could possibly top off such a delicious meal, such a delicious fall meal, would be a delicious, fresh, fall, hot apple pie made by your family. Now, you can't see this, but everybody is, like, surrounding me and waiting for me to cut this pie. <laughs> okay. It is still hot. There you go, little girl. <laughs> and who's next here? How's that one? Will that do you? Oops. There you go. Mmm.